Once it's together, it looks like this. It's kind of like a sex toy, except it's not a sex toy. I don't, I don't even know why, I don't even, why would you say that? Why would you say that? It's not a sex toy. What's up everybody, Mark here from Remarkable Woodworks and in this week's episode I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at all the things that we've been working on. Plus I got a new tool that I want to show you. It's not really like a tool, it's more of like a toy. Not that kind of toy though. It's kind of like if your knee pads had rollerblades built into them. It's called a kneel it. It's pretty dope. They gave me a discount code which I'll share at the end of the video. For now, here's a better look. Over the last year, we've been working behind the scenes in order to turn this place into a legal duplex. Now you might be asking yourself, really, it takes that long? Short answer is yeah, yeah it did. It took all of 2020 in order to make this happen, which was a year in itself, so feel free to look it up in case you missed it. So this time last year, all of this was wood paneling. There was a stone fireplace over there that we had to break up. We had to put in a beam, add new flooring, new trim. We installed an Ikea kitchen with quartz countertops. We put in a new bathroom and we did all of that in the middle of a lockdown on top of and on the side of other projects, sometimes even underneath them as well. But once we got the basement wrapped up, we were able to move on to the upstairs. Up here is pretty much the exact same thing. We knocked down a wall, installed new flooring, trim, yada, yada, yada. The only difference is, is that we kept the cabinets and I refinished them. I'm gonna put out a video on that entire process, so if that's something that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. But in this video, I wanna to talk to you more about this guy. It's called the Neelit, and it's amazing. Now, it might be a little dusty because, well, I use it in real life, but this is it. Nice, compact, and it comes apart really easily. These legs right here, they come off. And the seat, Attaches just like that. There's that little hole in there. There's those arms right there. And that goes in together just like this. And this is what the seat looks like right out of the box, which is every bit as comfortable as it looks. But they gave you this fancy little bike pad to go on top of there. And they might as well have just given you a lazy boy because this thing makes it comfy AF. So for this part, you have this little arm here, you can lift that up. That'll expose this pin. This pin is gonna be what acts as a stop. So you lift this up in here, click. You know you're locked in place. Then you can open up this arm. Here, another click. And you're ready to go. Attaching the seat to the base is really simple. This is the base. This wheel right here represents the front of it. On the front, you're gonna see these two little arms. And on the bottom of the seat, you see these little hooks are gonna wrap around the bottom arms on the base. I think, there it is. Now you're gonna notice the seat doesn't actually touch the ground. And that's because this pin right here is kind of like a hydraulic. So when you sit on the seat, it pushes down and then this base here presses against the floor and kind of acts as a brake. So when you're in the seated position, you're taking pressure off the knees. And you almost feel guilty because you're comfortable but you're working. Moving on. So I posted a video on TikTok of this thing and it went viral. It's like four million views and counting. So I thought it would be pretty fun to make a video replying to some of the most popular comments from that video. So one of the popular questions that came up in the comments was, does it scratch the floor? Well, the short answer, is no. Now there's a long-winded scientific explanation on the fancy materials that they used in order to prevent this from happening, but if you take a look, the weight is pretty evenly distributed, and the short answer is the wheels are really soft. 
So if you're interested in that long-winded scientific explanation on the fancy materials that they used on the wheels to prevent this from happening, I'll leave a link to the website below. Feel free to do your own research. Now obviously, if you are tiling and you have some dry mortar or there's a bit of concrete or maybe some wood chips or something and that gets caught behind the wheel and you end up dragging that across the floor, I could see how that would leave a mark. But I've been rolling around on this thing for about a month and a half and I have not had a problem on hardwood, vinyl, obviously tile, any of that stuff. What else we got here? Oh, this one's good. Does it work? Yes. Yes, it does. Quite well, actually. Uh, here's another one. Is it comfortable? Like I said before, if you're using the seat as it comes, not so much. But if you use it with that bicycle seat that they gave you, then it's super comfortable. I could sit on that thing for hours. Which probably doesn't say much because I can sit on a toilet seat for hours too, so take my advice however you want. Here's another one. Is there anything that you don't like about it? I'll be honest, the only thing that I don't like about it. I found that the pads can come off the base really easily, which for assembly is great. But if you're a contractor, you're probably throwing this thing in and out of the back of your truck, the pads are gonna come off. So I kind of keep things in a box or you could use like a ratchet strap to keep it together. I just wish there was like a little bit of a locking mechanism. I actually reached out to Neil and was able to talk to the CEO of the company. He's designing a whole bunch of different add-ons to it. So you're gonna have trays on the sides, you're gonna have a chest adapter. And I think with all those add-ons, there's not really gonna be a way that you're gonna be able to house the whole thing together anyways. So would that be enough to prevent me from getting one? Absolutely not. Now the last question was where do you get it? Well, you can Google it, it's called the Neil It, but I'm gonna leave a link in the description below because they actually gave me a discount code. I'll leave that below too. It's just Remarkable 10, use that at checkout and it'll get you 10% off. If you're someone that does a lot of tiling, a lot of baseboard, a lot of flooring, I would seriously look into getting one of these things because it, like I said, it's been an absolute game changer for me. And that my friends is gonna do it for this week's episode. If you have any questions on the Neil it, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. I'm posting tips and tricks over there every single day. If you like this video, please do all the things that you're supposed to do when that happens. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram. I love you all equally and I will see you when I see you.